Mike Rowe here from Dirty Jobs. Dirty as fuck. <laughs> Got Terry over here, taking the brace for the trans tunnel. Everything is coming together. What? I feel like I lost a couple of years of my life. I got asbestos exposure, cancer. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? Almost a pack a day. All right, well. I think they're okay, though. I think you're all right. He's good. He's got the Sergio knockout, the other side panel. Over here. Now to save time, we ordered a fireproof um, silicone sealant that you can powder coat over. So that'll be here on Monday. We plan to drop the car off the powder coat on Wednesday. And then uh, hopefully everything that gets shipped out for the engines, uh, I'm just waiting on the pistons and rods and everything from uh, PRP uh, to, to kind of finish everything up. I got Dustin from ANX Wiring is coming out here on Saturday. Uh, he'll be here Saturday and Sunday. They kind of go over his, uh, to basically build a layout for the harness that he's gonna make. So we're just trying to get everything ready for him uh, to be here. So guys are gonna finish up the uh, trans funnel and then we'll put the dash and uh, put the electronics where we want them and get ready for his arrival on Saturday. So, um, I mean, do you think things are kind of really picking up in a good way? Um, Sergio, Made these motor mounts. I'm gonna take them over to our friend Tyler Fabazzi over at MSI, and uh, we're gonna make these out of billet. Uh, these will actually be, um, and when they're made out of billet, we'll kind of change the profile a little bit so they're not so out like that. Probably just make it a little bit more streamlined right here. So it'll be billet, and that'll be a kit that you guys can uh, you guys can buy. Um, I think there's a trans on here. Yeah, Carrie's already getting the uh, the trans mount bracket already already loosely made. So we'll have a uh, we'll have a full kit for you guys. Uh, so are you serious guys that want to you know put a six XD in your car, and then I'll also make another mount for uh, the GSR uh, as well. So things are coming along. Yeah, going on over here. Uh, making trans trans tunnel. Trans so you're just marking out your design? Yeah, yeah, just gonna keep it simple. A couple little little guys. Sick. I like that. Yeah. So that's the top? Yeah, this will be the top piece. Okay. And then, uh, if you look over here, there's like kind of a frame already. <laughs> right. This top, and then I'll make sides or whatever. Sick. So blown. Yeah, it's got like an EK hack throw like a fucking 82 speed bro. <laughs> <laughs> That looks sick. Yeah. That looks sick. So Serge is getting ready to mount the dry sump. We're gonna have it right here and then the window will uh, will pop out and we'll have a little enclosure built. We'll have a little drain that goes down um, the bottom of the floorboard. Just getting down on that. Carrie is getting to work on fitting um, intercoolers, oil coolers, and we're going to start working on the intercooler. Excuse me. We're going to start working on the uh, intercooler piping. Uh, the goal is to work throughout the weekend and get the car ready to get dropped off at, um, at Powder Coat on Tuesday. So we're going to try to push through as, as, as far as we can and uh, just kind of go from there. But uh, guys are killing it. I love these new Durali coolers. We're bitching. That's an oil cooler, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Also, um, Cam uh, gave us some more stuff. This will be perfect for the for the power steering. I love that it has like a, like a duct. It's got some shrouding on here, like a ram air effect. So this would be perfect to mount somewhere maybe underneath the car to kind of scoop some air to uh, cool the power steering. 
Uh, got a new shroud with some awesome, uh, awesome fans on here. Like he was saying, 2000 CFM per fan. That's amazing, brushless motors. Carrie's got the uh, Durali oil cooler all mounted up. Super solid. So give me a rundown of uh, like setting up the intercooler, what you guys got going on next. Next we're gonna mount the intercooler in front of it. Okay. Up front because we're running such big tubing, three and a half inch for the intercooler piping, we can't exactly fit it in the back. So we have to mount it up front. Right. But once that's mounted up front, then it's just tubing and wiring and let's see you run. Right. <laughs> You were saying uh, some pretty good things about these Bosch uh, drive-by-wire throttle bodies too. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are swapping to them in the R35 world because of the factory Nissan throttle bodies have a lot of issues and these seem to not have any issues at all with vibration vibration or any anything of that such mm -hmm. or bending of the blades. Yeah, I've never personally ran uh, drive-by wire uh, other than the street 350z obviously factory is drive-by wire but um, like I had mentioned to you guys before we're, uh, we're definitely utilizing a, a lot of benefits from running this pretty cool you guys are pumping Try. I see it I see it just gonna extend um, the trans tunnel which is pretty cool it's extended back and then this section will be removable so this will uh, it'll make the transmission really easy to uh, take it in and out of the car. Um, already got the trans mount mocked up. See it as best as you can right there. And then the motor mounts and then um, we'll make the, like I was mentioning, we'll uh, take the motor mount, trans mount over to our friend Tyler and get it made out of billet. Uh, Sergio's now got the dry sump tank mounted up, looking good. And he's just gotta make an enclosure for that per the rule book. And man, dude, we're moving. You boys are killing it. Sean did a great job on cleaning up the wells. Looking good, boys. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good, boys. Looking good. I like that. Thank you, Hector. We got more parts, baby. Driver Motorsport and Fuse Fabrication. That's right, baby. That's right. So let's open these up and see what we got. Um, also, the rest, some more stuff for the uh, cylinder heads came today. Only run the best stuff, Tomei. Uh, 282 cams, uh, shimless. Let's see, these are solid lifters right here. Uh, yo. So this is a custom one-off manifold that uh, me and Kyle uh, fused fabrication, whipped up, and Kyle absolutely killed it. Uh, this is a manifold that you will be able to buy for yourself. Um, I'll unpackage it, but this is all titanium hardware from the studs that go into the head. Uh, turbo, uh, it has, all the, has eight EGT ports, so you guys can uh, measure exhaust manifold pressure, um, twin scroll, T4 divided, 44 mil wastegate flanges. I mean, we could do any uh, wastegate flange that you want, or as well as uh, single scroll as well. Uh, I personally recommend doing a divided manifold to help it scavenge uh, all the exhaust gases. This is a rad, rad piece, man. They start out at 1500 bucks. Uh, the one shown is probably around 2000 with all the hardware and everything around. But uh, awesome, awesome stuff. These are absolutely shredding. Trans is all mounted. So this top plate will be removable, make the uh, transmission easier to pull in and out of the car. We're starting to mock up for the pedal box, do final fabrication on that. Um, got the intercooler, starting to get that mounted. I love how this is uh, braced into the chassis. So that way it's not relying on anything up front where the headlights are mounted. Perry is just finalizing the tube. For the steering shaft, my boys are killing it. Boys are killing it. Sergio's gonna make the bottom mounts for the plasma and intercooler. 
poison. Ooh, I'll get my boyas. Look how sick that thing looks. But look at the clearance on the motor mount to the header. It is just, I mean, with this thing bolted up, perfect. My boys are good. My boys are good. My boy. Oh, I love that. Damn, dog. Sean, take a look at this. Take a look at what our boy did. It's not a quick detached fucking uh, front setup. Look at the clearance right here. Look at the clearance on the... That's a lucky draw, bro. Dude. That's Dude.